Hello, thanks for this uh, joining me on this journey uh, back to the essential guide of CBD. We are on letter F, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. And fibromyalgia, if you know anything about it, it's considered an autoimmune issue now, but uh, when it first was um, getting diagnosed, a lot of people would dismiss it and think that the people that had it were just um, making it up. And But it's real. And people have a lot of pain with this. So it's a difficult to treat condition defined by chronic widespread pain and debilitation. So it's pretty bad. Um, it is, so Dr. Ethan Russo hypothesized um, that it may be uh, that endocannabinoid deficiency, endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. How about that? Because we have our own endocannabinoid system in which the body isn't making enough of its own endogenous cannabinoids to properly regulate many physiological symptoms under its control. So if that's the case, then taking plant-based cannabinoids like CBD and THC could address the root of the disease rather than merely mitigating some of the symptoms. So how about that? We really want to go, sometimes we just take pharmaceutical and stuff, it's just a band-aid, but you're not really ever addressing the issue. Uh, current research supports that theory. In a 2020 study published in the Clinical and Experimental Rheumatology, Italian researchers demonstrated that cannabis can be used effectively to remedy fibromyalgia symptoms, um, at least by some patients. So that theory was backed up here. The researchers recruited fibromyalgia patients um, in Milan. 66 of them were interviewed over six months of treatment. The average participant was 52 years old and over 90% of the sufferers were women. Um, women make up most of the, uh, the demographic with fibromyalgia. Uh, the study focused on treating refractory patients, so people that weren't able to be helped by um, medications that they were taking, so they were having still having symptoms. And just under half of the participants were taking two other drugs, while nearly, nearly a third were taking at least three. These drugs were strong central nervous system sedatives, including opioids, anticonvulsants, nerve blockers, and antidepressants. These are hardcore. The participants were given two formulations, one with THC rich and the other, uh, THC is the ingredient that comes from the marijuana plant and that's what will make you high. Uh, so some were taken to THC rich and um, the other was balanced more with CBD than THC. Uh, they used the balance formula, on, uh, so they used it like in the day and at night. Nearly half of the participants, 47%, got enough relief from these cannabis formulations to reduce or cease their painkiller usage. That's huge. So many people have a problem with painkiller addiction. And what if we can get them off with a natural, natural remedy? This is amazing. Between a third and half the participants experienced improvements in sleep, anxiety, depression, and pain symptoms. The majority of participants um, were overweight or obese, and cannabis seemed to be more effective for the heavier patients. So, uh, regarding CBD, a study so can, uh, yeah, that's, a study published in 2017 suggested that it may be able to turn down the activity of brain cells called glia. Uh, that can lead to a condition known as central sens sensitiz sens sensitization, S sensitiz <laughs> where the entire nervous system becomes overly sensitive to everyday stimulation like bright light, noise, textures, strong odors, and temperature extremes, which may be the mechanism behind conditions like fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. In chronic fatigue syndrome, also known as myalgic and encephalomyelitis, the immune system spurred by an unknown cause goes into full aberrant fight mode, activating a hyperinflammatory response and setting off a nightmarish carnival of symptoms. In 2015, an article in Science Advances reported heightened immune system in the people with um, ME slash CFS, so uh, that's the myalgic encephalomyelitis and um, chronic fatigue syndrome. During the early phase of the disease that was consistent with the viral trigger or disrupted immune regulatory networks, but in later stages, the level of immune disturbance were much lower. It appears that whatever Im immunological threat initially triggered the disease 
could have been resolved and yet the body continued inflammatory uh, foe fighting stance. So given that runaway immune system uh, response, a marked inflammatory, a marked inflammation are major players. Uh, it makes sense that CBD and THC could profoundly, uh, could be profoundly therapeutic. Anecdotal evidence bears this out. Inflammation and pain are like conjoined demon twins, this researcher said. Uh, so CBD and THC go a long way towards taming it. So how about this? These, these people in the study were on those hardcore uh, pharmaceuticals. And what if we can get them to uh, a better life with a plant-based uh, remedy? Oh, it's worth a try. Remember, quality of the CBD is most important. Make sure you know what you're putting in. I can help you with that if you need it. And um, consistency. You must be consistent. Uh, in our house, we use like any uh, daily supplement. We use it every day. Our dog uses it. My two sons use it. My husband uses it. We all use it. So thanks for joining me on this journey. Um, look forward to seeing you again on the next letter.